Here we go, a very quick rundown on single pin picking. So called single pin picking because you are lifting one pin at a time and you want something that is a hook, a diamond, offset, hybrid, something that will have that lifting action at the end. So I'm just using a short hook here and really the motion that you're going with is just tiny little lifts. If you look at the key that comes with any padlock or your front door lock that you have, just notice the height of the cutouts in that key. It's not high. There's no really big cuts. So you don't really have to move that pick too much. The other big thing to remember is that we are trying to lift those pins. The number of times I see someone using a pick and they're trying to use it like a key and twisting it back and forth, that is not what we're trying to do here. So, single pin pick. First, we gotta get our tension wrench in our lock. Get something that is gonna fit properly, nice and snug in the bottom. If it is a padlock, what I tend to do, I am right-handed with a pencil, so the lock is gonna go in my left hand. I put it quite deep into the left hand, and I got my index finger to come over the top, and I'm giving it tension give you a little bit of a look and I'll tell you when you pick up a lock and you hold it like that everything is secure and if anyone else knows lock picking around you when you're holding something like this they instantly give you credibility because that looks correct so the amount of tension to apply I go very light you know you don't see the tension wrench flexing you don't see my fingernail getting red you don't see the tension wrench bending at all it really is just a gentle hold and if you need to know the exact amount, it's roughly about half of what it takes to press a key down on a keyboard. So let's start going through. Generally, I start at the back. You can start at the front, work your way from the front to the back of the lock or the back to the front. But what you want to do is get into position and just start slowly lifting those pins. And what you'll start to get a feel for is that some of them lift quite easily and one or perhaps two of them are a little harder to lift into position. Those ones that are just slightly harder to lift into position are the ones that we're going after. Now I got that sucker open already, but I'll explain a little bit more of what happened. As you're lifting that pin up, the one that is giving you more feedback, let's call it, the hard, one that is harder to lift up. It is dragging inside that shell, and as you get it lifted to the right spot, you'll feel it stop a little bit, and that is because it's hitting this sheer line inside the lock. That lets it turn ever so slightly. You'll then go through and find the other pin in the lock that will be the next one to lift, and that will be the next pin that is giving resistance again. And you'll feel it as you're trying this out. Some will feel very spongy and light. You're really feeling for that one that offers resistance. Lift that one up into place, then go find the next, and then find the fourth. If you happen to be picking a lock like this, a master number three, there's four pins in it, so you're going for those four. Lift them up, put them into position. Now, I started at the back, worked my way forward. It doesn't go four, three, two, one. It could be the fourth pin, and then the second pin to set. It could be the first pin that you have to set first. It's all going to change a little bit, but it's going to be that same. Small lifts, slowly moving your way through the lock. Start from the back, come to the front, and as you feel resistance. Another thing that I'll quickly show you is that what can happen is you might accidentally overset a pin, and that is when you lift the bottom pin too high and it's in the top pin area, you need to have no hope of picking open that lock anymore. So, give it a go. After 30 seconds, if it hasn't opened, release the tension, let everything fall back, and restart again. And that is just a quick run over on single pin picking. My Sparrows.